Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking to you about how many calories you need to lose weight while intermittent fasting. So this is a question that I get a lot on my intermittent fasting video and the simple answer is I don't know how many calories you need to lose weight and the reason that is is because the amount will depend on a lot of factors including your age, gender, amount of exercise, your current weight, current height um, and all these things so basically it will differ from person to person um, but what I can say is there are a number of tools that sort of take all of these factors into account and create a sort of calorie calculator is the name of it so I've linked to a few of these below in the description and what I'd recommend is do all of them and then take the average of what it says you, the amount is you need to lose weight between all of them and then take that as your number but again this is still an approximate figure so what I would say is take the number and do it for a couple of weeks weighing yourself every single morning at the same amount of at the same time this isn't to obsess over what that figure says it's to look at the end of the three weeks to see if your weight is uh, going up or going down, basically. And if the amount of calories that you are consuming based on what the calculator's average is, is correct. Um, this is the best way to find out. And you know, if you do that for three weeks and you notice that you're gaining weight, then perhaps you need to uh, lower the amount of calories even more. So that's what I do. Do fill out all of your details in uh, all of the calorie calculators I've linked to. Take the average, do it for several weeks, weighing yourself every morning at the same time. And by that, it's do it before breakfast. So, you know, it's the same. Uh, your body should be pretty much at the same point each day. Um, and then after about three weeks, see if your weight is decreasing if so that's great the number is probably accurate or accurate enough if not then adjust accordingly so check it all out below i'll also leave a link to a good tool for counting calories you will have to probably track them relatively well if this is if you're new to this but this tool is very useful you basically input the food and it's already got the amount of calories for a lot of foods stored within it. So leave the links to all of that in the description, check it out, ask if you've got any more questions. Thanks for watching, have a lovely day.